In the previous video, we learned to find the trigonometric ratio of angle uh, between 0 to 360. And now in this video lesson, we're going to learn how to find the trigonometric ratio of any bigger number, like uh, they are below 360 or above 360, like 480. That should be a multiple of 15 or 30. That will be more better, all right? Uh, any bigger like uh, 700, 800, 1200, uh, 12,000 or 18,000, 19,000, 18, uh, 100,000 does not matter all right there is a simple trick and that trick will apply to everyone all right and now i want to tell you once again uh if if this is my uh coordinate axis let's say and we know that this represents zero degree this represents 90 degree this represents 180 degree and this represents 270 and when we make one complete cycle then this zero uh will be 360 and then again another cycle repeats all right another cycle repeats then it will be 720 you know it will be 720 another cycle will repeat you know and then it will be 180 and like this it will uh, it will go on all right so uh let me tell you one thing now whenever all right what i had what i told in the previous video that whenever we are taking a reference of uh a reference of this this uh this 90 line all right this 90 or 270 then our trig ratio changes right sine changes into the cosine or cosine changes into the sine and similarly tan changes into the cot or cot changes into the tan and similarly sec changes into the cosec or cosec changes into the sec when we are in the reference of this 90 or uh, 270 like 90 plus or 90 minus similarly 270 minus or 270 plus but when we are in the reference of this uh, this line, I mean either in 0 degree or 180 degree or again when we complete one cycle then it becomes 360 degree, alright. In this line, whether you are making like 360 minus or 360 plus, whether you are making 180 minus or 180 plus, right, uh, 0 plus or 0 minus, whatever you do, that time there is no change at all, no change at all. So from here what we can understand, we can we can take uh, some, some concept here. And this is zero degree right and this is my first 90 degree and this is 180 and 180 degree i can write twice of 90 degree similarly 270 i can write thrice of 90 degree all right and this when i will complete 360 and that then i can write uh, four times of 90 degree all right and again uh, another five i mean uh, 360 i will add again 90 degree then i can write five times of 90 degree then it will be six times of 90 degree all right then it will be seven times of 90 degree and right, let me go a little up and then it will be seven and then it will be eight times of 90 degree all right and then it will be again nine times of 90 degree and again i will come here and i will get uh 10 times of 90 degree all right and again i will come here and i will get 11 times of 90 degree and again i will come here and i will get 12 times of 90 degree it's okay now it's too much all right now here what i want to say that when you are in this region all right always check up here these numbers see this number and see this number all right what did you see there here we have four here we have eight here we have 12 here we have two here we have six here we have ten and now let me tell you here one thing what we have two four six eight ten 12 next one will be 14 and then 16 here will be then 18 and then 20 it means all the even multiples they are right this this is even multiple you know 2 and times 90 180 reason or 360 reason is 2 and times 90 degree it means it is it is even numbers you know even number line so whenever we are getting uh like uh, uh like like uh, any any trigonometric uh, ratio we have sine 90 plus theta so that's odd right but now in this case uh, i'm writing suppose two times suppose two n times 90 plus theta then that time you know you know this this is giving now two n two n times 90 means two n times it means we are in the region of this zero or 180 or 360 in this line we are we need to keep in mind so that time whenever we're getting here an even number it means there is no change right there will be 
simply sine theta right no change right simply I'm going to say no change right and now if you look at this properly see here uh, this was our first 90 all right one times 90 it was so one see one five seven nine and here three seven nine so one three five seven nine eleven all right it means whenever we have uh, 2n plus 1 2n plus 1 is representing an odd number all right 2n plus 1 is representing uh, odd number or you can go for uh, you can go for 2n minus 1 times 90 plus theta whenever we have like like let's say again I'm taking sine so 2n minus where n is actually a natural number right keep in mind uh, so whenever I'm getting here uh, I mean odd number all right whenever here I'm getting odd number then that time there the value of the sign changes means whenever I'm getting here odd times 90 then that time I'm talking about this reason I may be in the uh, in the 90 reason or I may be in the 270 reason but in both cases what I had told what I told in the last video there is changes takes place that sign converted into the cos tan converted into the cot say converted into the cosec and vice versa so that time it will be sign will be uh, cos uh, cos theta and now see always you need to take care of the plus and minus because uh, yep, you may be this side you may be that side so it will be plus minus similarly here it will be plus minus so keep in this mind all right keep in mind this simply now it was just an example of sign but I'm generalizing it if uh, to, to generalize it uh, let me let me let me see even number times 90 plus theta then always what happens no change all right and if we have odd number times 90 plus theta then there is change this is the fundamental just put this in your brain and see how the magic starts all right uh, now you choose any number let's suppose I'm choosing 480 all right uh, choose such a number that is multiple of 15 or 30 all right now see here 480 uh, so which which value you want to take suppose sine 480 you want to find out okay sine 480 degree I don't know sine 480 so first step in this case will be always and always divide 480 by 90 because we already uh, we need to find out how many times of 90 480 is right so I'm dividing 480 by 90 so I'm getting 9 5 za 450 and then I will get uh, 30 left here so what is 480 480 is actually 5 times 90 plus 30 all right see 5 times 90 450 plus 30 480 so what I can write now that sine 5 times of 90 plus 30 degree and now my dear friend you tell me what is this 5 5 is an odd number all right so odd number times 90 plus theta what it is saying change so close your eyes and just write here the changed form sign changes into the cos all right cos 30 degree and now things come whether it is plus or minus and now we need to uh, I'm, I need, we need to assure whether it is going to be plus or minus to, to to predict whether it's going to be plus or minus again we have a very simple concept all right see here make like this quadrant all right and see here uh, this is first 90 second 90 third 90 four 90 so when you are moving when you are making one round you know uh, when you're making one round you're covering four 90s all right so four 90s I have already covered I mean 360 I have already covered four 90s and here I have five so 490s and 590s all right it means here I am now and 590s plus 30 degree so I'm in the second quadrant now so in second quadrant cos uh, second quadrant the value of sign is always positive it means my sign is positive so my answer is plus cos 30 what is plus cos 30 that's absolutely right you're right 2 root 3 over 2 that's our answer how simple it is now all right this is the trick uh, now uh, let's 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 do a little bit bigger number let's say uh, 930 degree okay so how is 930 degree 
So again, I have to divide 930 by 90 to confirm that how many times the 98 is, all right? So uh, for that, what I'm doing, I'm dividing 930 by 90, okay? So 90 times 10, I'll get 900 and then and then 30 I'll get, all right? Again, I got 30, oh, okay, no problem. Uh, let's, let's take 45, all right, 945. Because recently we deal one problem related to the uh, say this is 945. So if it is 45, then we'll be left with 45. All right. So 945 is actually uh, 10 times of 90 plus 45. So now any value you need to find out. I don't care. Uh, like uh, means we don't have to worry about that. We take here sine. You take any any value tan, uh, cot, cosec, sec, anything. Let's say let's say uh, let's say sec. All right sec uh, 945 we need to find out so sec 945 what we have to do yes the same process it is actually 10 times of 90 degree plus 45 degree all right so now you tell me my friend what is this 10 10 is odd number or even number yes even number it is even number then again close your eyes and just write no change it means it is sec 45 again all right sec 45 after that now you need to confirm whether it's going to be positive or negative to confirm positive or negative again the same trick i said like at one circle we make four 90s right because 190 and then 290 and then 390 and then 490 so 490 890 990 and then 1090 it means till 1090 we, we are here and 1090 plus 45 degrees means extra 45 degree means we are in the third quadrant and in third quadrant the value of the sec is negative all right because cast rule we know c a s t in third quadrant only tan and cotangent is positive rest of these all are negative so we have to write here negative sec 45 and now you should know sec 45 what is sec 45 if you don't know and if you uh, if you know at least uh cos 45 then that's that's going to work here cos 45 is actually one over root two so sec 45 sec 45 is actually one over cos 45 uh, reciprocal of it so it will be root 2 all right so simply that's going to be minus of root 2 how simple it is all right this is how we need to find out you can take any bigger number or any smaller number with this method all right it's very simple now let, let me let me say i have uh, 15000 suppose okay 15000 so uh, how to do this to 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 do this again i have to divide this 15000 by 90 all right so 15000 by 90 i'm dividing first so 90 times 1 i will get 90 here and then from 0 it will be 0 and then from 15 uh, i'll get 60 all right and now i'm dropping 10 all right so now uh, by 90 if i'm dividing 60 uh, i'm going to get 96 or 540 all right so 540 and again i'm left with 60 and another Zero will drop 600 and again 6 uh, 540 and again I'll left with 60 so my 15,000 is actually 166 times of 90 plus this 60 all right now I don't have to worry any it's very simple now all right so any any value you say you need to find out suppose 10 10 15,000 you need to find out all right so 10 15,000 what, how about if we'll make it even more uh, complicated how about minus 15,000 right minus 15,000 so if it is minus 15,000 then then you need to we need to uh, remember one more thing what I had told you that if you have tan minus of theta then it's minus tan theta so if you have tan minus of 90 degree then it's minus tan 90 degree and if you have tan minus of 15,000 then it's actually minus of tan 15,000 right so s nothing is there first we need to let's let's make it pose uh, I mean let's simplify this first so it will be minus tan 15,000 and what is 15,000 we write here so minus tan 166 into 90 plus 60 and now you need to confirm 166 is whether odd or even everybody know this this is an even number so whenever we have even number there is no change it means we'll get uh, we'll get here this this initial minus it is I'm writing initial minus and after that I'm writing here tan 60 degree but this will be here I'll write plus or minus that I need to confirm first alright 
so 166 all right uh, to 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 confirm the plus or minus sign we need to say here 166 comes at uh, which 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 part right so for that you know uh, like at one circle we cover four right four uh, 90s and then eight 90s and then uh, uh, and then 12 90s so first what we're doing 166 we're dividing by 4 all right so 4 for the 16 all right uh, cancel and 6 drops 4 1 the 4 and 2 it means 41 I'm I mean 41 times so it means uh, at uh, at 41th time like you know 41 into 4 uh, I'm going to say uh, 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 2 left right so 164 okay so at 164 will be here you know because 2 is left here so 166 minus 2 it is 164 so like 1 2 3 4 5 if I'm going then uh, in my uh, in my uh, 41th term you know in my 41th term I'm gonna get at this level or simply I can say that very simple I'm telling you see uh, at 1 Six four time, you know, one six four ninety will be here, and one six five ninety will be here, and one six six ninety will be here, and then we have sixty degrees. So we are in the third quadrant again, all right? So in third quadrant, ten is always positive, all right? Ten is positive, and this is initial minus, so plus and minus it will be minus, and ten sixty degree, so it's going to be minus root three. Answer. It's very simple. I hope you got it you know this is very cool concept if you can grab it you can you can easily find out the value of any any angle any bigger number or any smaller it is you can even find out the millions or billions that doesn't matter because math is just a trick once you know the trick you can deal with uh, with a, a very simple to the very complex all right I hope you understand this and if there is any confusion in this then please feel free to comment below this video I really appreciate to hear something from your side and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel all right catch you in the next video with next concept goodbye